Uh, hi, my name's Kian Reno. And my name's Evan Doro. Uh, we're in the Fleming lobby. Uh, it is 2.50 p.m. on the 19th of October. Question one. Uh, when I lead a brainstorming session, I can remind my team of at least five things that are important to do and pay attention to. Uh, one thing is to capture all the ideas, to encourage wild ideas, to defer judgment to other people in the group, and to build off the ideas of others. And uh, one conversation at a time. Uh, take notes, be visual, and go for quantity. Uh, question two. I can explain the difference between mental model and mapping. So a mental model is a conceptual model in a person's mind that represents their understanding of how things work. The mental model is uh, the way a person remembers the mappings of a device. Uh, the mapping is the relationship between two sets of things. Uh, it's the relationship between the control and the result, like the light switch uh, being flipped up and the light bulb coming on. Uh, question three. I can, uh, when it asks to improve Uber, I can suggest features aimed to encourage drivers and passengers to be more courteous to each other. So one way to do this is to incentivize good rides by adding rewards for streaks of five stars, both for riders and drivers, as like a commission for the drivers or a discount for the uh, riders. Uh, another way would be to allowing the rider to uh, like see the driver before the trip is started and deciding whether or not the rider wants to take that driver. Because currently, you're locked in. Once you request the Uber, you get that driver, you're set. But if you were allowed to be more picky with your driver, the uh, competition for the driver pool would be driven up, and so the uh, drivers would be incentivized to give better rides, and so they could be selected in the beginning. Uh, and question number four, I can use an example to explain why we need to consider different physical and mental abilities. So one reason we need to uh, consider physical abilities is if you have a blind person that's trying to use Google Maps, you that's you only uses visual directions, they wouldn't be able to find their way to point B, but if it also has auditory directions, like they'll still be able to use the application. Uh, a mental example would be like the app called Pillboxy. It reminds people what pills to take when. And so this app can be designed for people who are who have normal mental faculties who just have to take a lot of pills. Or it can be designed for the mentally impaired, uh, the elderly uh, who have dementia or maybe Alzheimer's. Uh, and it's designed to cater towards their weaning uh, mental abilities. And without the app, it's uh, very possible that they would need a full-time caretaker. Thank you. Thanks.